Welcome to our video. Recently, I realized that growing up, nobody told you that you have the power to shape your own reality. This is a wisdom that not everyone has the fortune to learn. But the truth is, you have the capability to be the master of your own fate. You were born to take control of your life, and you can do it if you learn to manipulate your subconscious mind. Contrary to popular belief, creation doesn't happen outside of us. It is we who create our own reality, and this has been confirmed by the principles of quantum physics. But there are two ways to do it. You can either create your reality deliberately or on autopilot. And the reason you may not be entirely satisfied with your life thus far is because you've been operating on autopilot, letting your subconscious mind dictate your life. There are several classic books written by great men of our history that explain the art of deliberate creation and manifestation. Books such as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol, The Law of Assumption by Neville Goddard, and many others have astonishingly described the true mastery of creating your reality with the use of your subconscious mind. All these authors agree on one common principle you become what you think about. You attract exactly what you hold in your mind. Our subconscious mind is the one responsible for creating our reality, and it uses our dominant thoughts to bring them into existence. But what happens when the thing we constantly think about is something we fear rather than what we want? The thing is, our subconscious mind respects our free will. Whatever we think about, whether good or bad, our subconscious mind will assume is what we want in our reality. So to change your reality, you must first change your thoughts. You need to assume your desired reality for it to come into existence. But how do you do that when your external reality keeps presenting you with the evidence of the lack of the things you want in your life? When it doesn't seem to be going the way you want it to? The answer is, you need to shift from a reactive mode to a creative mode if you truly want to see it manifest in front of you. And here are six hacks to get you there, as advised by the authors I mentioned earlier. The first hack to shaping your reality is to utilize your beautiful imagination. This means to use your imagination and all five of your physical senses to bring your desired reality to life. Your imagination is a powerful tool that can help you bring your desires into existence. When you imagine what you want, it activates your subconscious mind and helps you create your reality in a deliberate and conscious way. To use your imagination effectively, you need to immerse yourself in the feeling of having what you want. You must feel it as if it's already a reality and not just a mere thought. By using your five physical senses, you can bring your imagination to life. For example, if you want to manifest a new car, imagine yourself driving it. Feel the smoothness of the steering wheel, smell the new car scent, hear the sound of the engine, and so on. This way, you create a vivid and real experience in your mind, which your subconscious mind takes as a signal to bring it into existence. The second hack in creating your reality is moving away from lack. Our desire to have something stems from the perception of lack or shortage in our lives. However, this focus on lack will only attract more of it. To change your reality, you need to shift your focus from lack to abundance. You need to move away from the feeling of lack and start feeling like you already have what you want. This is where the power of visualization and positive affirmations come in. Visualize yourself as already having what you desire and repeat positive affirmations to yourself, affirming that you already have what you want. This will change your vibration and attract the things you desire into your life. It's important to remember that what you focus on expands. So, instead of focusing on what you don't have, 
Focus on what you do have and what you want to have. This shift in focus will change your reality and bring about the abundance you desire. Moving away from lack is a crucial step in creating your reality and it's all about changing your thoughts and focusing on abundance. The third hack in shaping your own reality is letting go of how. This hack refers to the idea that when you focus too much on the details of how you want your desire to manifest, you limit your own creativity and the power of your subconscious mind. Instead of worrying about the how, you should focus on the feeling of already having what you want. When you focus on the how, you may start to doubt the possibility of your desire coming true. You may start to think of the reasons why it may not happen or the obstacles that may come your way. This negative energy will block the manifestation of your desire as your subconscious mind will only align with the thoughts and the feelings that you emit. By letting go of the how, you free yourself from these limitations and allow the universe to present you with creative solutions that you may never have thought of. Your subconscious mind will work with you to bring your desire into reality, but you need to trust the process and allow it to happen in its own time and way. So instead of focusing on the how, focus on the feeling of already having what you want. See it, feel it, and act as if it's already a reality. This powerful energy will attract the right people, opportunities, and circumstances to bring your desire into your reality. Remember, the universe is constantly working in your favor and your job is to align your thoughts and feelings with your desired reality. The fourth hack is feeling is key. This means that your emotions and feelings play a significant role in shaping your reality. Your subconscious mind responds to your emotions and aligns itself with the frequency of those emotions. If you constantly feel worried, stressed, or overwhelmed, your subconscious mind will attract more circumstances that match those emotions, leading to a negative reality. On the other hand, if you cultivate positive emotions like joy, peace, and gratitude, your subconscious mind will align with those emotions and attract positive circumstances into your life. Therefore, it is crucial to be mindful of your emotions and to make an effort to cultivate positive emotions in your daily life. This can be done through practices like meditation, affirmations, visualizations, and surrounding yourself with positive people and experiences. When you train your mind to focus on positive emotions, you send a clear signal to your subconscious mind to attract positive circumstances into your life. The fifth hack is assuming your desire, which is a key principle in the art of deliberate creation and manifestation. Assuming your desire means to act as if your desire has already happened and is a reality in your life. This involves visualizing your desired outcome and imagining yourself living in that reality. It is about fully embracing and embodying the feeling of already having what you want. By assuming your desire, you send a powerful message to your subconscious mind that your desire has already come to pass and it will align itself with this new reality. This shift in mindset helps to eliminate any limiting beliefs or doubts that may prevent you from manifesting your desire. When you assume your desire, you become more confident and optimistic, and this positivity attracts positive circumstances and events into your life. The power of assumption and manifestation lies in the fact that it allows you to take control of your life and shape your own reality. You are no longer a passive observer, waiting for things to happen to you. Instead, you become an active participant in the creation of your life and your future. So, if you want to manifest your desires, start by assuming that they have already happened. This will change your energy and vibration and attract the things you want in your life. Remember, you have the power to shape your own reality 
and assuming your desire is one of the most powerful tools in your manifestation arsenal. The sixth hack, gratitude, is a powerful tool for shaping your reality. Gratitude is the practice of recognizing and appreciating the good things in your life, both big and small. When you cultivate a habit of gratitude, you send a powerful signal to your subconscious mind that you are content with your current reality and that you desire more of the same. This leads to an increase in positive feelings, which in turn attracts more positive things into your life. One way to practice gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal. Write down at least three things every day that you are grateful for, no matter how small they may seem. Another way to practice gratitude is to express it verbally. Take a moment each day to thank someone for something they have done for you, or to express gratitude for the simple things in life, like a warm bed or a delicious meal. Gratitude also helps you focus on the present moment and shifts your attention away from what is lacking in your life. When you are grateful, you are not thinking about what you don't have. Instead, you are focusing on what you do have and what you are grateful for. This helps you feel more positive and optimistic about your life, which in turn attracts more positive things into it. By following these six hacks, you can train your subconscious mind to work for you, to attract the things you want and to create the reality you desire. Remember, you have the power to shape your own reality, and it is up to you to use that power to your own advantage. So start your journey to becoming the master of your own fate today. As we bring this video to an end, do share with us your thoughts in the comment section on how you plan to implement these mind hacks in your own life. Please do like and subscribe to our channel as we bring you more life-altering content in the days to come. Thank you for watching.